Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to Peter Watches TV. And today we're going to talk about Bravo announcing the new lineup for season 16 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I have to say, when I saw the announcement, I was rather surprised. And I have been waiting for the announcement of the season 16 lineup cast for uh, weeks now. For probably months. Because several things have happened over the last few months. Uh, first, Candy announced that she was leaving The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, and then it came out that Portia Williams was coming back to The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then Marlo Hampton announced that she had been axed off the show and she was was no longer coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And um, then Sonia said that she was not coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it was like, well, who's going to be left? So it's going to be Kenya, Portia, Sheree, and Drew. And I was very confused as to why they were keeping Drew over Sonia. Um, it was like, does she have some kind of storyline that she's willing to share this season? It can't possibly be all about her divorce. I mean, she completely monopolized the last reunion with all of that and the singing of the song, and it was ridiculous. So I was really interested to see who was going to be on the cast of season 16 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I have to tell you, Real Housewives of Atlanta is my absolute favorite franchise within all of the Real Housewives. I absolutely love Atlanta. Um, it's probably the one that I know the most about. It's probably the one that I've watched the uh, the closest through the years and, and followed their stories when they're not filming and things like that. Um, I've watched a lot of The Real Housewives of Orange County, probably almost every season with the exception of three or four. Salt Lake City, I've watched all of them. Beverly Hills is similar to uh, Orange County. I've watched probably all of them with the exception of three or four. Um, New Jersey is one that I've never watched and Potomac is one that I've never watched. I'm actually going to... I was planning on watching those before they started this year, but I got behind on my TV watching because I watch so much TV. So I'm going to watch those over the summer and be caught up for next year. Um, New York, I used to watch the old cast and then the reboot that they came up with an entirely new cast. I uh, watched uh, that last year. My husband and I actually really, really liked the recast of The Real Housewives of New York and they are all coming back for the next season. So I'm excited about that. Um, I actually didn't think that Jenna Lyons was going to come back to The Real Housewives of New York and I really, really liked Jenna Lyons. Although she had made some kind of like snide comments about the show and about Bravo. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle that on The Real Housewives of New New York. Um, watched Real Housewives of Dallas with my husband. Not that closely, but watched it with him and uh, didn't really care for Dallas. There were some things I liked about Dallas, but um, it wasn't like my favorite franchise. So I mean, I've watched the, how, am I for, who am I forgetting right now? I'm, I've watched the uh, Miami. Oh, Miami. I absolutely, absolutely love Miami. And I've watched all the seasons except for one, and I'm going back and watching that one. I think it was the fifth season, fourth season that I haven't watched. So I'm going to go back this summer and watch that as well. But all the other seasons I've seen way back in the day when Leah Black was around and all the way to, <laughs> to today. And Miami is probably one of my favorite franchises as well. Atlanta, uh, Miami and Atlanta are my two favorites. I have, Well, I love Salt Lake City, too, but they constantly are changing up things and recasting things. You know, it's really interesting to me when you look at just, like, the whole, whole Bravo world with the Housewives and how they pick and choose who's going to be on the show. And I, I'm very confused as to what they're doing right now. Um, for example, uh, I just made a video a couple days ago about Dorit Kimsley and her husband, PK, coming out and saying that they were separated. Well... That was on the heels of rumors that Bravo was telling Dorit that she couldn't come back as a full castmate if she, a full housewife, if she didn't disclose what was going on and she wasn't willing to talk about what was going on with PK. Kyle Richards has faced similar things with if she isn't uh, willing to share certain parts of her life, then she isn't going to come back to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But then two days after that, um, they were showing pictures of all of them filming together at a party at Sutton. So it looks like they're all back. And we do know that Dory um, signed a contract and that she's back. Um, it's similarly, you know, people get kicked off of shows for being problematic. Um, Mary was kicked off of Salt Lake City for being problematic and not willing to talk about certain things to do with her church and whatever. And then they brought her back and she's still problematic and she says really problematic things. I mean, she says things on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City that um, sh nobody would get away with on another franchise. If, if those same things were said on, it, you know, she said that Heather Gay looked inbred and things like that. I mean, if that was said like on Beverly Hills, that person would probably be kicked off the show. But Mary gets away with it on Salt Lake City and it's very 
very confusing to me, you know? It's the same confusion that I have um, in talking about how, you know, Kristen, Stassi, and Jax were kicked off of Vanderpump Rules for uh, the racist comments that they, and the allegations that happened years ago, but then they are back and Jax and Kristen have their own show called The Valley and Stassi Schroeder was invited to be on that show and declined. So it's, these rules that Bravo makes up is very, very interesting to me. And I'm not really sure what they're doing with all this recasting. Um, and I honestly, I don't think it's probably good for the longevity of the Housewife franchise. I will say this, like, <clears throat> some of these Housewives, as, you know, they get older and they're settled down and stuff like that, they're not as interesting to watch, and I think that's part of it. But I have to say with Atlanta, I was really surprised, honestly. I wasn't surprised that Sonia wasn't asked back. Um, I don't think she has carried any kind of storyline the entire time. I think she's very nice. I think she's a nice person. She seems like a nice person, but she didn't really carry a storyline at all. I was really surprised <clears throat> about Marlo not coming back to the Housewives, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I have a feeling that has to do with, like, other women saying, if Marlo's going to be here, I'm not going to film. I have a feeling it has something to do with that. Um, because Marlo, I thought, brought a lot to the show the last two seasons. I thought she really stepped up as a housewife. Um, and I'm not saying that she wasn't problematic at times, but this is the thing, is that Marlo gets a really bad rap for being just as problematic as the other woman. You know, I know Kenya has a real issue with Marlo and things like that, but Kenya says and does some of the exact same things that Marlo does, and Marlo is held to a different standard. So, you know, it's interesting to me why Marlo isn't coming back for another season and get her peach, but we know that it was because she wasn't asked back. Because if she was asked back, Marlo would be on the show. So I was really interested. I was like, who's going to be on the show? You know, there were there were rumors that Tamar Braxton was possibly going to be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, and I was really excited to see who the cast was because I was like, okay, this is going to be a good season. We already knew that they were bringing Portia back. I, I love Portia Williams. So I was like, okay, this is going to, I knew Kenya was going to be on it. I was like, are they going to maybe bring back like Cynthia? And it's going to be like, I was like, there were rumors that maybe Nene Leakes was coming back because she had followed Bravo, but then there had been the court case with Bravo, so people were saying that she couldn't come back to the Housewives. But I was like, if they, like, if, this is where Bravo would be smart um, for the ratings and for the show, is if it was Kenya and it was... Um, Portia and Cynthia Bailey and Sheree and Nene and Marlo and they and brought them all back together again. So when I saw the announcement for the cast, I was like, um, I'm confused over this. I, I, I don't think this is a great cast. I don't think it's going to be a good season. Um, and most of these women don't even interact as friends. So, and we know that from having watched Real Housewives of Atlanta for years and years and years. So I will put, the, put this up here somewhere. But I saw this on Instagram that Bravo TV posted this and they said, introducing our sweet Real Housewives of Atlanta peaches for season 16. Portia is coming back. Kenya is coming back. We already knew that. Drew Sedora is coming back. Now, I have to tell you, I was very surprised by that. Uh, Shamia is, uh, she was a friend on the show, and now she's coming back as a full housewife. And it says Cynthia Bailey returning as friend. And then it says, and new ladies, Angela Oakley, Brittany Edie, and Kelly uh, Farrell, which I haven't heard of any of those three women at all. So when I looked at this, I was like, okay, no Sheree. So they're not bringing back Sheree. And that hasn't really been announced. There hasn't been any announcement that Sheree wasn't coming back. There's been speculation that she wasn't coming back, but there hasn't really been, you know, any announcement, no discussion about it. Sheree hasn't posted. And so this is the first announcement we're getting that Sheree is not coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I have to believe that that was a Bravo choice, not a Sheree choice, because Sheree has seemed like she wanted to be back on the show. And this is like her third time of being fired off of the Housewives. I mean, is she the most fired person on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? She must, a Real Housewives franchise, is she the most, well, I guess, I guess Dorinda would just call it put on pause, but is she the most put on pause fired person on the Housewives? I actually feel bad for Sheree, and I thought Sheree carried her season last year. So I was excited to see Sheree back. I was excited to see Sheree back with like Portia and Kenya and those people. Um, there was even hints that maybe Phaedra would be coming back because Candy wasn't on the show and Candy had said she would never film with Phaedra. Well, Candy was gone, so they were saying that maybe Fandy, Phaedra would be coming back, which I think would have been interesting for the show. It would have been interesting to see if Phaedra with Portia on the show would have addressed the allegations that Phaedra made back in the day that got her kicked off the show in the first place, right? So it would have been interesting to see if uh, that mix of people from back in the day and bring them forward again and see how they all went. Phaedra signed on for a second season of Married to Medicine, so she's not going to be on The Housewives. 
So I'm not really sure about this, like this, uh, this mix of cast. I'm confused by it. I have to say the most confused I am is Drew Sedora. Um, I think Drew Sedora is probably, for me, one of the most boring housewives across the board on any franchise that tries to hype up drama to just have a storyline. And it's not interesting to me. I mean, I thought the reunion with the song and the and Ralph being there and the divorce and all this kind of stuff, I just was like, this is a lot. And, and this is the thing that's interesting to me is that, you know, Drew Sedora came out and she talked about her divorce or all these allegations around it. And she wouldn't really talk about what was going on with her and Ralph. She would, I mean, until the reunion, they really didn't talk about it at all. Um, and if you, if you remember how it all went down, it was like filming stopped and then they started filming again. And then it was like Marlo reading on her computer and like all these things came out that Drew and Ralph uh, filed for divorce at the same time. What's interesting to me about that is that Dorit and uh, Kyle are being told that they are not going to be signed back on as full housewives if they don't share implicitly everything about their story. And in Kyle's situation, they're alleging that that has to do about if she or if she doesn't have a relationship with Morgan. So if she does and she is being forced to share that on a Bravo show um, and talk about her divorce with Mauricio, her separation, um, is Drew Sedora going to be held to the same standard? That's interesting to me. Or, or are they just like grasping at anything? Well, if they're grasping at anything... Why were they? Why would they not bring Sheree back? Why would they not bring back Marlo? It just it seems so bizarre to me. Um, I feel like there were conversations that occurred behind the scenes between all these women that were like, I mean, Marlo came out and said, "I was thankful that I got to be on the show. It's time for me to go do other things." She made it very clear she wasn't asked to come back, um, and. That's an interesting choice to me. I know a lot of people don't like Marlo, and maybe it's in the ratings and things like that that people are saying that Marlo doesn't pull the ratings. But did Drew Sedora pull the ratings? I'm not. I, I'm an avid watcher of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I'm not somebody that was interested in the life of Drew Sedora. In fact, I even met her, and that was one of my first videos on this channel. I met her when we were at brunch one day. She was there with a friend, and I even talked to her that day and things like that. Told her she needed to be nicer to Marlo, and. Um, you know, it's interesting to me that she got asked back. It's also interesting to me that Sheree is not asked back, you know? And then Cynthia Bailey is returning as a friend. Now, this is interesting to me because Cynthia has come out and she has basically said that she would never return to The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I actually thought that she was going to be cast on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because she was in a lot of episodes where they would have parties in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So I thought they were going to maybe bring her back on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or they were going to bring her on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills as le at least as a friend of because she kind of even was that. I mean, she was at like three or four parties that they had last season. She was at the the season finale, which was, you know, Kyle's white party and stuff that she did. I think that was the season finale, wasn't it? She was there. She was at another party. She was at the party with Denise Richards. And so I was really surprised that she's coming back to Atlanta as a friend. I think she's going back and forth between Atlanta and LA. And I love Cynthia Bailey. So getting any Cynthia Bailey on any kind of show, I'm totally fine with that. Um, but then I looked at this cast and I'm like, I don't know who, I mean, maybe these are people that I should know, but I don't know who this Angela Oakley, Brittany Edie, and Kelly Farrell Fer are. And that doesn't matter. They could come on there and be like fantastic castmates, right? But it's interesting when you read the comments underneath here. Um, I mean, people are like excited about it. So excited, says Queens of Bravo. Somebody said, y'all said let's bring Drew back over Sheree. And there are 16 comments on this one. And somebody said the audacity. Um, somebody said it's homophobic. That's interesting. Somebody said, we need the update on Drew after her breakup song on the reunion. Somebody said, right. And then somebody said she could have been provided, she could have provided that as a friend. Um, somebody said they had to, after that awkward as backup song to Ralph, they had to bring her back. I'm still clutching my pearls from that performance. It was bad. I mean, that reunion was embarrassing. Um, somebody said, what? Somebody said that part. Somebody said, Sheree, um, the is not having a storyline ever. Yes, she did. She dated the guy that got out of prison and that whole situation and her dating the new guy. Sheree definitely had... She had more of a storyline than Sutton Strack has on Beverly Hills for like the last three or four seasons. So Sheree definitely has had... Um, somebody said Drew over Sheree. This is another comment. And somebody said literally. Somebody said took the words right out of my mouth. Somebody said how can they do this to us? Question mark. Somebody said rightfully so. Seriously. I mean, people are... Sheree fired for a third time. No Sheree. Um... Somebody said, who is Shamia? I mean, Shamia's been a friend on The Real Housewives for years. I'm actually kind of surprised. I mean, there's no mention of Moneta whatsoever. I was, I was 
I would have put good money down that Moneta would have been back and she would have gotten her peach. I real, I mean, they were really feeding that. Her husband was in a lot of the scenes this year. I really thought that Moneta was going to get her, her peach and be on the show. She's really good friends with Kenya. She's friends with a lot of the housewives. So it would have made more sense for her to be on there. I don't know what happened with that. I'm kind of surprised about that, honestly. Um... Somebody said, I just keep praying for the day I see Nene Leakes. Oh, man, me too. Somebody said, me too. Somebody said, I'm praying with you. I'll pray forever. I, and somebody said, oh, God, no. Somebody said, no, Sheree. <clears throat> somebody said, Drew. I believe we saw enough for a lifetime at the last reunion. Somebody said, justice for Sheree. Um, somebody said, she may have been waiting for that peach as long as Marlo was. I've got to say this. cat. The thing is, like, Marlo brought a lot to the table when she was a friend, right? Like, she stirred up a lot of drama. Shamia really hasn't. She's gone on the trips, kind of. Sometimes she has. Sometimes she hasn't. Um, I mean, Shamia's kind of forgettable, honestly. I don't dislike her, but I think she's kind of forgettable. Somebody said, Dress justice for Sheree Whitfield. What the actual hell? And tagged Bravo Andy. Um, what did people say underneath one? This will be interesting. Somebody said, we demand justice. Somebody said, dude, Bravo really doesn't care about the viewers. Drew over Sheree, they pissed me off. I mean, people are really upset. Um, somebody said, Shamia is such a dud, such a failure to launch on this franchise, total waste of a peach. Um, somebody said, is Sheree the most fired housewife? That's what I said. Somebody said, oh my God, I've been waiting for Shamia to get a peach. Um, she by Sheree is gone. Somebody said, aw. Somebody said, Drew over Sheree, you said that and you need to take that back. Somebody said, poor Sheree getting the axe yet again. Um, people are excited that Cynthia's back. Where's Sheree? Oh my God, what about Sheree Whitfield? I mean, you guys, these are just, somebody said, I can't watch without Candy or Sheree. Lord, give us one. Somebody said, no Sheree or Marlo. They were my faves. I mean, people are so upset about the fact. Um, people are so excited that Cynthia Bailey's back, though. I love seeing Cynthia Bailey back. Um, I mean, Portia and Cynthia back, but Sheree, my queen, you will be missed. I mean, people are really, really upset over the fact that Sheree is not coming back for season 16. I want, I'll, it'll be interesting to see, I wonder if Sheree put something out. I should probably put it, look on here and see if Sheree, I should, could have just gone in there because people had her tag, Sheree Whitfield, to see if she put a statement out. Did she put a statement out today? She has, nope, she has not on her Instagram. The last Instagram is 20 hours ago. Creating new moments while looking like a million dollar baby at the grand opening. It was a restaurant. And she looks fantastic in this picture. You can't see it on here. That's the last thing that she has posted. Um, and she has no stories. So she is on here tagged. Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta OG. <clears throat> Interesting. Maybe Sheree didn't find out until today. I love her. Um, I mean, I love all of the ones that are like the OGs of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, and I've loved that show for a long time. It'll be interesting to see what happens this season. Anyway, what do you think about the new cast? Let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.